This is the Baltic, and you're listening to the Literati Records Podcast. Oh, that's like scary. <laughs> Welcome to episode 131 of the Literati Records podcast. I'm Marcus Graybeard, and I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with us, supporting independent music. So I hear it's supposed to be 45 degrees and sunny today, which will seem like a heat wave compared to what we've had for the last few days, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And I'm also stoked about our guest today, a talented group of 17 and 18 year olds known as the Baltic. With the roots of the band going back to when the members were still in middle school, and a couple of releases on Eric Halborg's LGL record label the last couple of years, 
The Baltic's sound and songwriting are mature beyond the level of most high school age bands. We got a few quick announcements, and then we'll bring on the band. Last night on our Facebook page, we listed some of the shows happening this week around town. I think it lists Wednesday through Sunday, so if you were thinking of going to a show or two this week, pop on over and have a look. We also have a new internet radio station on Live 365, creatively titled Literati Radio. We wanted a place where we could bring you great independent music through the entire week, and internet radio seemed like the logical choice. So check that out if you get a chance. All of the music on today's show is available on the Baltics Bandcamp page, which we have a link to in the show notes on our website at www.literatirecords.com. You can also find a complete track listing there as well. Now, enjoy getting to know the Baltic. Well, I'm down here at the High Dive tonight where my guests are the Baltic. We're going to be taking the stage in a few minutes for a killer show tonight, opening for Pale Sun and Wyman Miles. All right, well, let's start on my left here and uh, get names and instruments. All right, um, I'm Josh Kaplan, and I'm the bassist. I'm uh, Graham Roth Epstein. Uh, I play the, the drums. drums. I th- yeah, drums. drums. I'm Jose. I play guitar. <laughs> I'm Adam Dankowski. I don't have a middle name. And I play guitar and sing. Oh, I sing too. I'm the drummer, Graham. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm Bradford Stahl. I play guitar, and for tonight I play sim. And he's he's uh, taking over Jose's part because Jose is in, he's in college. Now. Yeah, I'm in college, so I'm just here visiting for the week. Well, that's cool. You're back in town for a show or two. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, can you guys give us a, a brief history of how the band formed and how you all started playing together? We started in. Sixth grade. The me and Adam. Um, we're here. There he is. You can't see me. <laughs> Secret camera. Um, in like sixth grade, and we we're like a metal band, and then we have like twenty band names, and then we finally became the Baltic, in like freshman year. Freshman or sophomore year of high school. Yeah. And, and that's when I, Jose, joined Adam and Graham <laughs> in their project. Um, and then. Crazy. And then last year, I rejoined. The band after taking a two-year break. A lot of complications. <laughs> a lot of complications. Girls. And then the and then the Baltic, no, and then the Baltic formed completely. And then he joined the a Bradford. Bradford. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We are now We're Tenacious D. Yeah. <laughs> We're the Baltic now because Bradford joined. All right, all right. Yeah. Nice. Let Brad, Bradford explain to us how, how, why you are excited to be in the band. <laughs> I just I'm really glad to be playing music again. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wrong. <answer>. Wrong. <laughs> You're a man. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Well, you guys have a few singles out on the Long Gone Lads label, which uh, is run by Eric Halborg, great guy, awesome great bands around man. town. Um, and he's also the producer on those singles, correct? Yes. 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 How did your association with Eric begin? You got this one, Graham. I got it, wait. So, my brother um, was applying to art school, and Eric was like helping him with his portfolio. Um, and they're like, oh, you're in a band. And then I like started a band, and he's like... I want to see you guys. I'll get you a gig. And he's like, oh, cool. Now I'll record you. So it all <laughs> comes back to my brother. There's Jackson Epstein. He's an artist. And well, he did the... Go, go look him up. He did the... Oh, yeah, he did oh, the... Uh, the the album artwork. No, not that. It was, was no advanced It was... Uh, he did the t-shirt for Swayback. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, do you guys have any <laughs> releases currently in the works? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jose's cool. got this one. Before I left for college, I actually... Went into Eric's studio and <laughs> in his basement. I just tracked like many steps are a ton of um, recordings. Like, just I there was like four songs I think that we have currently being mixed. And while I'm doing my thing in college, I go to Seattle University. The rest of the band they're recording their parts and everything's being mixed. So we don't really have anything set in stone for like release dates yet. Yeah. But we're like, um, so we have four songs that are gonna come out like pretty soon, um, and then we're gonna record one more, and then we'll have like a full length, I think, and then we might tour. Cool. Yeah. Out next sometime next year. Next maybe? summer. Yeah, summer. yeah, we'll see. Hopefully next year. <laughs> yeah, and we're playing the songs tonight, like the ones that. Nice. Right? Some of them. Now people probably can't 
tell this so much on an audio podcast, but you guys are pretty young compared to most of the artists on the scene. Has that been an issue at all in trying to book shows? Well, like, well, like getting your friends yeah. into your shows is probably sure. <laughs> like your girlfriend. Yeah. Um, uh, what, wait, what was the question? But like, well, no, it's like, it's as, far like as, hard. as far as finding gigs go, I mean, like because we're underage, it's a little bit more difficult. But in the long run, we have like pretty good, nice people working with us, and that helps us out a lot. Yeah, I think it's uh, too because since we're younger, and like I feel like some people will think, oh, they won't really attract a crowd that can come to our bar that's twenty one and over. Right. Um, because most of our friends are twenty one or younger. <laughs> Do you guys get to play a lot of all ages shows? Or? We played, like, uh, are there that many? Uh, wait, we played like one. Two, two, no, no. Two. We played UMS, which was an all ages. Oh yeah, we, we got, played we got three. Us, like, the like the most. Yeah, I saw that set. You guys were really good. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I remember. Hey, he was there. Yeah. Oh, we. Yeah. I remember you. Yeah. Probably like just that scary bearded. No, who's that handsome? Yeah, that's it. I like retrieved that from my long term memory. That's crazy. That's nuts. Well, what's been the biggest hurdle in getting your music out to a larger audience? Yeah, we're really busy as young adults I'm applying, to, applying college. to colleges and keeping your grades up and not getting into trouble. Which well, is time would be a hurdle then for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. And but school. Time. coordinating schedules. Yeah, we're, we're all like eighteen and seventeen. We're all, we're all on diff- We've always been on like different schedules too, because like since we don't go to the same t- only Graham and Josh go to the same school. Um, I'm Bradford. Oh, in Bradford now. Oh, yeah. English class right there. But it's Bradford's fault. Oh, so. Miss Poe. It's, it's kind of Ms. relevant. <laughs> Just kidding. Miss Poe. Shout, um, shout out to Miss Poe. <laughs> <laughs> but she, uh, or <laughs> not she. <laughs> um, since we never like went to different schools, um, except for middle school when the band wasn't really like, very serious, we're all we've always been on like very different schedules. Um, yeah. And like different activities. And and now do, I'm in college. So. No, we all do like different things. So well, time. We all have. Various interests. The most important part is that we can always come together every Friday after, after school. <laughs> that's one of that's, an, that's an old song written in like oh, nice. seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are some other local artists that you guys think our listeners should check out? Definitely Dragon Beer and Swayback, of course. And then um, Hearts and Space. Hearts and Space is cool. Yeah, those guys cool. are cool. We'll play a show with uh, like the weird, like, uh, what's that one band? Flashlights. I like Patrick Deathless a lot. Hey, don't, Patrick. Don't, don't listen to us. <laughs> Patrick, check out the Baltic. <laughs> <laughs> well, what track should we close this interview with? Um, play yeah, like... <laughs> no, no, I like Easter Island. I think that song stopped playing, and that was one of my... That was a really cool song. I like Easter like Island. Easter Island. That's okay. a good one. Like well, Easter one. Island it is, then, man. Or maybe we'll have more music out by then, but I really doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee that no more music will be out. I take that back. We will not have That's more it. music out. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot for uh, meeting with us, man. And best yeah. luck with your music. Jose, good luck at college. And mm-hmm. We'll definitely keep an eye on what you guys got going on in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Have you. a great show tonight. We'll do our best. Oh. Yes. We will do yes. 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 Mark. 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 Mark.